So I just bought a new tool. It's an encaustic iron and I've been eyeing it for a while, but I finally took the plunge. And the first project that I'm doing, besides just kind of practicing with it a little bit, is a encaustic collage. So I, I've stripped off a piece that I used for a demo in one of my classes and there's a little bit of wax left on it that I'm going to use under the paper. This is the paper I'm going to use um, because I love maps and vintage stuff. It, it just, I just love this paper, but it's too glossy for me to use in an encaustic piece. The, the wax is not going to adhere to it, especially if I try to use it over the entire wood board. So I'm sanding it down mostly on the back, but a lot on the front as well to make sure that the wax has something to adhere to, to kind of get rid of that glossy, that glossy texture. And using it for the first time on paper over wax, oh my gosh, you guys, it, it's amazing. Going over it a few times with the right amount of heat, just, I mean, it adhered so well to the wax and the wood board uh, after using the iron. It just, it just laid it flat. It was awesome. And adding some wax layers over the top of it with the iron, it, one of the problems that I have with collage in the past is that the corners, especially of the paper, would kind of curl up when I use my heat gun. And as the wax melts, it kind of floats to the surface almost. But with the iron, the iron keeps it flat and you can have it on the on a setting that's not super hot. And so it will fuse the wax, but it won't like turn it to liquid. So the paper stays put and it was worth it just to have this result. And I, I feel like I can do collage again. I feel like I can do collage and get amazing results because I'm always tempted to glue the paper to the to the base of the wood uh, so that it doesn't float up and I won't have any problems with it. But I don't have any glue that really works with encaustic. It's all acrylic based. So trying it with the with just the wax on the wood with the iron was it was perfect. I'm kind of blown away by how well it worked. Now, one of the other things I'm trying to do with the iron is create marks. So I'm, I'm trying not to get like a super smooth surface. I'm trying, especially with this blue here, I'm really trying to add some marks that I can fill up with some oil paint and add some texture to the, to the piece. And that didn't really work as well. Um, I don't think it's because it what it's not possible with the iron. I think it's just I am new to this tool and I need to practice with it more and kind of get kind of the feel for it. And also I have a very heavy hand. I always go way too far, especially when I'm new at something and I'm experimenting. So uh, I think it would have worked a little bit better if I had not ironed it so much, but you know, you just got to keep practicing, especially when you have something new that you're working with. The rest of the video is kind of me just adding the finishing touches. I wanted to, since it's a map on the bottom, I kind of wanted to add some, some kind of visual elements that would really complement that idea. So I'm adding lines, kind of globe, type lines to the surface and I'm going to be filling them with oil paint. With these lines that I'm drawing, these circles that I'm drawing on the surface, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get wider as I go farther away from the center. And I'm actually doing a pretty good job. It's, it's amazing what you can do with the right tools.
I try to do this too, drawing lines in the wax when it's just a little bit warm. You don't want it to be like you've just fused it because then it's too hot and you can really scrape a ton of wax off accidentally. But when it's warm enough that you can get a good, um, you can make a good dent in the wax, but it's, it's hard enough that you can't accidentally, like you don't just swipe through it like it's butter. Just making sure I've filled all the grooves and the lines. And you can see where I made I was successful making a few marks down in the blue, but the rest of the marks were too small, too non-existent to keep the oil paint. It just wiped right out of there. So I wanted to add a few other elements, uh, specifically stamping in the surface. So I'm just warming up the surface of the wax a little bit before I try to stamp into it. And I'll be adding brown India ink to the stamp so it uh, matches the oil paint that I used. It's not quite warm enough, so I warmed it up a little bit more so I could get some good indentations because that's my favorite thing. Just a little oil pastel for some contrast. These oil pastels are a little dry, so it really helps to have some linseed oil on the surface to kind of help it move around a little bit. And some India ink birds, just as a final touch. And that's it. That's this whole piece. Uh, thanks for watching to the end, you guys. Uh, an encaustic iron is, I. I I need to play around with this more. You'll probably see some more experiments with it in the future, but for collage work, it is amazing. Highly recommend. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.